Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kamoy. For those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I wanted to do a really quick short video um, just about one of the main questions I've been getting behind the scenes from my clients lately. And this is the question about manifestation. I got a few notes down because I can go off on a tangent, okay? I'm getting ready to do a few more videos for the other zodiac signs, but I really wanted to talk about manifestation today uh, and give you some pointers and some tips as to why you may not be manifesting or even about your manifestation powers because I think a lot of times you get so caught up in the mainstream explanation of what manifestation is when really it's a linguistic thing, okay? Words have power. So when you pray versus when you manifest is two totally different things, okay? So when you pray, you're asking, it's, it's kind of like you're petitioning the heavens or the ethers for things to unfold. But when you're doing manifestation work, you know your birthright. So you're just bringing it in to this third dimensional realm or in, into this physical realm, okay? You've definitely tuned in your vibrational frequency to match that as it that in which you desire to experience. Okay, so a few tips about when you're going through um, your stages of manifestation and some things that you may need to know, okay? First of all, your words and the conversation that you have with others is extremely important, okay? Which means that you need to pay attention to the conversations that you entertain um, and the words that you use, okay? So, if you are um, trying to manifest something, you write it out in your book, okay? Uh, you should always have a book or a journal uh, because there is the law of writing. And this is exactly why a contract is binding because anything that you write out, it's, it's binding. It puts it out into the ethers and you get even more of a, uh, an impact um, uh, uh, more, I want to say, uh, I don't want to use the word forceful impact, but it's more of a powerful impact. So not only are you put it on into the ethers with your words, um, in the air, but you're also putting it into physical words. Okay. You're creating your own spell or your God spell. Okay. Totally different video. I'll do that another time. Okay. So, uh, when manifesting, it's important for you to be very careful of how you phrase your words. You do not want to use words like, um, um, uh, uh, I want, okay. Um, you want to use words like I am thankful for, and I am grateful for that. I am now, okay. Enjoying, um, my new car. If you want to manifest the car. Okay. You have to be able to live from the place of manifestation fulfilled and not from a place of you're waiting for things to happen. Okay. So even, you know, after that saying how, how they say you fake it until you make it. So that's really what you need to do. You need to understand that it's already yours to have. Um, it's already yours to enjoy. It's already yours to partake in. Okay. Because if you're just waiting for something outside of you or for deities outside of you to um, grant you what you pray for, um, it's a 50-50 chance. You may get it, you may not, okay? So when you start to operate in your manifestation power, you start to operate in your birthright, okay? Um, so pay attention to your words. And especially if you're jotting stuff down, um, anything that you're phrasing and you're using the word but in that phrase, please know that everything that you said before your but is now canceled, okay? Um, so if you're saying, you know, um, I am thankful for this beautiful house, but I know I don't have the money to get it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's not how you want to write that out. That's not how you want to put that out in the ethers, okay? What you want to do is I am thankful, right, that I now have the money to buy my brand new house, okay? That's one way that you can do it. If you're going to use but, however, okay, I don't, I don't see the money in the physical right now to get my house, but I know the house is mine. I don't have to try to figure out how I'm going to get it. That way you leave it up to the ethers to start putting, right, your words, right? And, 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 and just a little, a, a little side hint, because I need to do a video on this too, because you're going to be hearing a lot of terminologies and a lot of different things because I... 
you know, when you study, um, when you study so many different things, sometimes it's hard to kind of pinpoint exactly where you got that information from, because a lot of it is just awakening what you already know. Okay. And so with that being said, um, we're taught in, um, quantum physics for those of us that are into quantum physics or, um, even physics, right? Um, you know that everything has a Taurus field which includes your words, okay? So you can think of your words as like um, um, invisible vapors, just like condensation that happens or the dew that falls at night and then it gets evaporated up into the, um, the clouds and then when the clouds get too full, it rains and the rain pours, right? You can think of your words like condensation going up into the ethers and it's a buildup, okay? And when those ether clouds are filled, right, it's going to rain. So you're either going to rain in the abundance of what you've been giving your energy to and putting up in the ethers, right? Or it's going to rain on whatever you've been paying attention to. So if you've been paying attention on my manifestation is not going to work out because I, I don't see how this is going to pan out, guess what? That's what you're going to experience, right? But if you've been sending up in the ethers, my manifestation is going to happen, even though I don't know how it's going to happen, right? When it rains, it's going to pour out to you that in which you desire to experience, okay? So when you're manifesting, you do not want to use words like, I'm never going to do I'm never going to have. You want to use words like I am thankful for, I am grateful for, that I now experience, that I now have, that I now enjoy, okay? So you, you, you're manifesting once again, right, from your desire or your wish being fulfilled, okay? You, you're not supposed to try to figure out how all this shit's going to happen or how it's going to work out. That's, that's, not, that's not where the magic lies. The magic lies in belief, believing that it's going to happen. That's where the magic lies. Okay. So watch your words. Your words have energy. Your words have a vibration. Okay. You also want to pay attention to what you're putting inside of your eternal, your internal, um, your internal being. So we're all energetic beings and you can think of yourself as like a battery, a rechargeable battery. Right. And um, within your battery system, like let's just say there are seven major um, energetic points within your your um, your battery system. There's actually more than seven um, major points, a.k.a. seven chakras. Totally different video. We get into that in the next video. OK, but let's just talk about your seven chakras for now. Each one of these chakras represents a gateway or like a battery system. Right. And each one of these um, gateways uh, and battery systems need to be recharged in a certain way. OK, so. What you want to do is you want to watch what you pay attention to on TV, um, what you what you what you listen to on the radio. OK, so if you were trying to manifest love, why right, you should not be listening to trap music. OK, shake your ass and ow, 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 break it down, back it up. There's a time and a place for that. Like if that's what you went to and that's what you want to manifest, shaking your ass and backing it up by all means. By all means, right? But if you're trying to manifest something um, loving and something kind because you're healing, right? And you've just been through some bullshit. You don't want to do the shake your ass no more. You really want something genuine and something fulfilling, right? And, okay, so you've decided that that's what I want. So you're going to have to change your frequency, change your radio station. So instead of maybe listening to, let's say, 101.5 that does attract music, right? You want to turn in maybe to 97.1, right, where you're getting the smooth arm and be the love type, you, you know, that Luther, you know, that old Maxwell, you know. Uh, you want to tune yourself into those frequencies that's going to draw you. Now, how does this work in your personal level? This works because when you start to turn yourself into the frequencies that you desire to attract into your life, you then start to meet the people the things and the situation in which also vibrates on those frequencies. All right. So once again, if you're looking for smooth R&B jazz and they're playing that on frequency radio station 97.5, but you tuned into 101.5, you're not going to get to hear what you really want to hear. Okay. So what do you have to do if you want to listen to that station? Don't you got to change the dial, press the button, switch, switch through the channels. It's the same thing in your spiritual walk and when you're manifesting, okay? So you are going to have to pay attention to your vibration, what you listen to on TV, what you listen to um, 
um, and music wise, you know, what you watch on YouTube, you understand what I'm saying? Even the news, you may even need to cut out the news. Okay. Um, or just a little intake, you know, maybe you just do a recap, you know, you definitely need to pay attention, uh, to what you're putting into your, your, your ears and your eyes and your heart. Okay, because what you watch and what you listen to triggers a vibration. They can activate the heart chakra. And if you are vibrating, whatever frequency you're vibrating on. Remember, we talked about those radio stations, right? Whatever frequency you're vibrating on is the dial and the frequency that you're going to attract in your relationships, in your situations. Okay, this is why you guys, you need to protect yourself. It's time to raise up and know who the hell you are. Raise up, raise up, step in your power, okay? All right, and next thing that you need to pay attention to is what you're playing over and over again in your mind, okay? You want to pay attention to your mind loops. You want to pay attention to the first place that you go to when you get stressed, the first place when you go to when you get nervous. You want to pay attention to what is the first thing that arises when fear comes in. Is it, I'm not worthy? Is it I can't, okay? Is it I don't have, okay? And then when you find out what your mind loop is and what you've been telling yourself, you then have to change that. So when you catch yourself saying, oh, no, nah, I'm not even worthy of that. I don't even think I could do that. You know what? Not only do I think I could do that, I know that shit is my birthright to have. I don't understand how the universe is going to figure it out, but I know it's mine and I know it's done. Matter, And then I go sit and have a conversation with my guys about, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. And then I get a meditation and I can see myself walking on the beach. I can feel the sand. I can feel the heat. I can feel the sun. Okay. So I manifest from a place of already seeing it completed and then just a knowing Okay, it, you can even think of a tree. A tree does not figure out how it's going to get its leaves the next springtime. It knows that there's a season for everything. There's a process for everything. So the tree is just a fucking tree. It understands its role. It understands its, um, its sovereignty. It understands its nature. Okay, so what's missing from us is we are remembering and understanding our nature and our true power and what we have. Okay, so what you think is important, all right? Pay attention to your mind loops. Pay attention to what you've been telling yourself, okay? And then once you catch it, right, you then get a chance to change that recording, okay? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I must. I have. I will. Okay, so you pay attention and you start changing your mind loop because you can't change what you don't know exists, okay? But that doesn't mean that you're still not governed by the, the rules of the universe, okay? So even if you don't know electromagnetism exists, which creates gravity and all that shit, try jumping off of a building without a parachute. Just saying. Okay. Um, so manifestation also involves what you think. Okay. So you're going to have to pay attention to your mind loops. All right. Now, you're also going to have to pay attention to who you give your time to. Okay. Um, and, and, I, I, and I should have said this with... Um, the example about your words having power, but you want to pay attention to who you're giving conversations to. So you want to stop talking to people that think that um, things are impossible, okay? Uh, if you have a dream, you have a vision, you have a goal of something that you are um, desiring to manifest or, you know, or, or, or want to manifest, and you really shouldn't want anything because to want something is to lack. So if a desire is something pops up that truly brings you joy, that usually comes from the depth core of your spirit, your being, your soul, okay? Especially if it's something nagging that you can't get rid of. With that being said, those dreams, those goals, okay, um, those things that you want to manifest, you cannot share those with people that think it's impossible for you to manifest these things, all right? So stop sharing your goals and your dreams with naysayers. Stop sharing your goals and your dreams with energy, energy vampires. Stop sharing your goals and your dreams with negative people, okay? That every time you come out with something positive and you want to do this, they tell you 10 hundred million ways why you can't have that completed or why you can't do that. Stop sharing that shit with people that is not on your frequency or your vibration. So people that think shit is impossible, stop sharing your shit with them. Stop sharing your dreams and your visions and your goal with them. Stop. That's important. Okay? Because then 
All right, I'm a trained audio engineer, and one of the things that they teach us in engineering school is phase cancellation, okay? And within phase cancellation, if you put two microphones and they're phased within a certain proximity, you get phase cancellation where they cut the sound from each other and shit coming out of those microphones, okay? So Beyonce could be in the back singing her ass off, right? But ain't shit coming through that microphones because of how you have them positioned. How do you have people positioned in your life? Do you have people doing phase cancellation in your ass? Every time you uh you spit out your goal and you spit out your vision, you have someone standing in your face telling you in your aura field, you know, telling you in your vortex field, in your Taurus field, in your telling you you can't do something and they just canceling out your shit. Stop sharing your stuff with people that is not vibrating when you are. Okay, because people can't see the impossible if they think they can't do it. So therefore, if they think they can't do it, guess what? They also think you can't do it. I'm just saying, okay, that's another important thing. Okay, the next important thing that is important when you're doing manifestation work is you will have to pay attention to your emotions, baby. Okay, not just what you think, but you will have to pay attention to what you feel. What you feel, and this is last but not least, because this is by far the most important thing. What you feel trumps everything that you're going to manifest. So you could think and say that you're rich, but if you don't feel that you're worthy of wealth and abundance, guess what? Ain't none of that shit going to come in. Okay? Pay attention to your emotions and what you feel. And if you find a feeling, this is why you want to pay attention to what you'll be playing. Okay? If you find a feeling of um, insecurity, um, um, self, uh, worth, self worthiness that you need to deal on. Work on your insecurities first before you start trying to manifest shit. Okay. Deal with those insecurities first. And I'm going to tell you why. If you are not dealing with those insecurities first, your feelings trump what you want to manifest. So you can write out in your vision book, what you want to manifest, but feel like you're not worthy. And guess what? Your subconscious that rules what you're going to press out in this dimension. If in your subconscious you don't feel worthy of that abundance, guess what, baby love? You're not going to experience that in which you truly are rightfully entitled to experience. You're not. You're not. Okay? So it's important for you to also check your feelings and then deal with the feelings and do the healing work before you try to manifest shit um, and you're not in the right frame of mind. Okay? Another important tip that I want to leave you with, right? If you feel like you're in a bad mood, if you feel like you're just down and your spirit is not vibrating where you're happy and you're just feeling very energetic and enthusiastic about stuff, you do not want to write manifestations down feeling low. OK, because once again, that feeling, right, is that secret power that gives all of this stuff energy, all of your visions and your, it gives all of that energy. OK, so it's important, my loves. All right. Regardless of what signs you are, um, in order for you to raise your vibration uh, and manifest the things that you want, this is just, you know, uh, some tips that I do give uh, my clients behind the scenes. And we go into exact examples um, depending on their particular situation. So we work it out and we look at different aspects and different ways that you can look at things, okay? Um, everything here is not, you know, everything ain't against you. And if you can change and flip it to see that everything really works for your greater good, um, you can tap into loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of unlock magic and potential within yourself, okay? So that is my message. I am getting ready to do, um, I think, Sagittarius, um, Capricorns, and a few others today. So I'm going to jump off now. Um, guys, love yourself, right? Accept yourself, Okay. One of the things that I love and I tell myself all of the time, right, it is in my imperfection that I'm most perfect. It is in my imperfection that I am most perfect, okay? So if you can grasp that and that's, you know, figure that out. What does that mean to you? It is within my imperfection that I am most perfect, okay? So marinate on that. 
once you get that, <laughs> baby, it's a whole nother level, my loves, okay? So I will see you guys in your personal readings if you have not checked that out. My readings are not date specific. They may be energy specific, uh, but the titles is what you want to pay attention to, okay? Because energy is fluid, which means if it resonates and it vibrates when you click on it, it's for you. So take what you need and you leave what you don't. If it's not your energy, it could be the energy of the person that you're interacting with. I am um, going to, um, like I said, be uploading a couple of signs uh, today. So you guys just want to check out your signs. And if your sign has not been posted yet, I do have plenty of other things on the channel within your signs that you can click on. And you can just stay tuned um, for um, your sign if it's not there. It'll be there by the end of the week. All right, lovelies, I love you. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be kind to yourself, love yourself. And it's hot, it's summertime. Drink plenty of water, guys. Bye.